Wait a minute. Where are my computers? Where's my wall? Oh shit, where am I? Jesus, y'all couldn't tell me that I was this ashy? Oh my gosh, my hair is nappy too. Even though there's nothing, come on guys, stop getting me stop. I'm just kidding guys, this is Alpha from Etico Studio and welcome to my world. Okay, so let's get into it. So, today, as you can see, I'm shooting from my studio, the lighting is awesome. That's why I take my pictures. And now I'm gonna start doing my videos here. The reason why is just the lighting is amazing, as you can see, you know. There's a good feng shui flow. Let me get back on, on topic. So, today we're talking about framing, right? So what is framing? Well, let's Google it. Boom. Oh, by the way, thanks guys for the feedback. It was really amazing, I really appreciate it. People told me that I needed to relax a little bit more, so I'm trying with this episode, as you guys can see. My friend told me I needed to add some pizzazz to it. I had to look up the word because I didn't know what he meant. But I'm trying to add my pizzazz to my episode. And another friend told me I look like a virgin kid from somewhere. It was actually really hilarious. So I'm trying something new. You see, guys, I'm trying to put in my vibe. Before, it was just... Okay, this is what we're gonna talk about. Try to talk quick, but now it's more like, yeah, I'm into the building. What's up? <laughs> anyway, let me get back. Also, I was told that my episode was kind of short, so I'm trying to increase the length. I mean, I'm not gonna make it too boring, but I'm trying to make it, you know, interesting. Anyway, <laughs> let's see how that goes, right? So today we're talking about framing. So according to Google, framing, whether it's very literal frame that went through a popular prop, environmental or structural framing, framing with light or lack of light, they all work well, um, bring the viewer's eye to your subject. Um, framing is actually defined by Wikipedia as technique used to bring focus to a subject. Okay, so... My definition of framing is anything that you can see in that frame. So let's just, I'm gonna bring my screen so you guys can see it. So anything that I'm gonna put into that frame right here. So which is me, for example, and that whole black background. Sometimes you can see objects, sometimes you can see other people, sometimes you can see things around. But what's important is how you view your subject. So how you place your subject in that frame so that your subject can either fill in the whole frame or your subject can take enough space for people not to focus on other things or a way for you to bring out your subject. I divided that in a few um, points that I'm gonna be talking about. So the first, well, we went through the definition. The second is a distance. So as you can see, my first shot, I was very far away from the, from the camera because I wanted you to see me and see everything that was around me. The second shot now, I'm super close to the camera. So that's also positioning. I mean distance, sorry about that. Positioning, it's something different. We're gonna talk about that in a second. So the distance also has an impact on how you view your subject. If I have the camera all the way to the back, you'll see everything in this room. Do you wanna see everything in this room? That should be your question. Do you wanna just see me talking to you? That is also what you should think about. Do you want to see one, two, three people around me while you're filming? That is also something else that you want to think about. The distance from your subject to your camera matters also. Now, the second thing is the positioning. So what is the positioning? For example, right now I'm in the center of the frame, so I'm facing the camera. So just the camera and me. The other position could be me over here then you probably wouldn't see me or you see a part of me or probably me being here and you wouldn't see or you'd just be something else. So what's really important in 
positioning is using the rule of third. The rule of third is a technique, well, let me Google it again, so we can have a definition of what the rule of third is, so I don't lie to you guys. Rule of third is applied by aligning a subject with the guideline in their intersection, placing the horizon on the top or bottom line or along linear feature in the image to flow from section to section. Okay, so if I didn't know anything about photography, I would be like, what? So, let me simplify this for you. Sometimes on camera, you click and there's a grid that's going to appear with multiple lines. Or there's a grid that has like three sides like this and three sides like this. That grid helps you position your subject. Position your subject in the center, which would be great. You can position him on the side, on the other side. Anyway, sometimes it's really great to use those positioning to place your subject because it ease on the eye. It also utilizes the negative space and it makes you create something amazing. Booyah! Drop the sauce. <laughs> nah, don't quote me on that. Anyway, um, my next point is content. So what do you want to have in your picture? Do you want just somebody like me here? Do you want to see my hands in there? Do you want to see me and someone else next to me? Do you want to see me doing something artistic? Um, I follow this um, photographer on Instagram. She's really great. She generally have like people at peace. So after you dead, the way people should view you. And she positioned them in such a way that it's just artistic and it's great. You know, people will want to see this kind of stuff. Or for example, let's talk about women. Women have a gift of positioning the camera. Like they would just put it on top here like that and take a selfie. And you'd be like, oh my gosh, this is a great picture. Or they'll put it like right here at the bottom and then you see them like, oh wow, it should look amazing. And the next segue to that would be angles. Woman favorite, as a matter of fact. I mean, they have a gift for that, right? They can take any pictures and be like, oh my gosh, this girl is sexy. But then when you see her off of Instagram or off of any social media, be like, what? Is that the same person that I saw there? I mean, that's comprehensible because the cool thing about camera and also not the cool thing about it is to add 10 pounds to your subject. For example, you're looking at me right now. The camera is giving me 10 pounds which I probably am going to look like I got like some huge, I don't know, face or like a big body or something. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't get that big. But then it makes the person look, I don't know, appear better if you see what I'm saying. So when they place the camera at an angle and take a picture, like that angle emphasizes on their face and their, you know, front. So it makes it look bigger. When they take it from the bottom, it makes them look taller and fuller. When they take it from the reg like the regular side, it makes them look normal. That also goes as saying that photographers that take a picture from the bottom will make the subject look taller and from the top will make the subject look smaller and at the regular distance or from the center position, it will get their actual sides. Okay, I think I've talked long enough. If you have any comments or any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. Please give me some likes, subscribes. I enjoy you people commenting on my videos, telling me what I should do or how I should talk. You know, those little things. It makes my channel better. It makes me a better person. And I hope my vlogs get better as you guys watch it. Thank you and have a nice day.